Hey boys, welcome back to some Sean John's career mode, and as you see, we are taking on Australia in the final, so it does say round one, but this is the final, this is the the uh, the main event, as you would you would put it. Um, for some reason, I didn't record the, <laughs> the team lineups, because uh, I, I don't know why, I remember doing it, but it wasn't in my recording, so we don't get to see the teams, but they're pretty much the same um, throughout the whole throughout the whole tournament, so, you know, we progressed through pretty comfortably as we looked to offload that one. Not a great offload in these wet conditions, but we were looking pretty dangerous to start the game there, but yeah, pretty similar uh, teams. And yeah, we um, went through undefeated. Australia? Australia were close to... Um, Scotland were actually close to getting over Australia. Um, if Scotland beat us, I actually don't know who would have got through, because they both would have been on four points, and Scotland were really close to beating us, so yeah, it would have been interesting. But... Yeah, this game has started off pretty just back and forth, honestly. We do have a really strong win behind us, so it'd be nice to actually utilize that. But as you see before, just getting the angles slightly wrong is resulting in uh, in seven tackles, so that's not good. As for some reason, Tuvashek here decides to kick the ball, and he's kicked it just absolutely shocking. Just the worst kick I've ever seen from Roger. I don't know what he was doing. He was standing back here. Off the, on the left foot as well, just straight to Inglis, kicked it about 10 meters, 20 meters, and Inglis just uh, steps around one, and uh, we couldn't catch him. I thought we were going to dive and catch him here, but we just we just couldn't make the ground. So, a back and forth start has ended with uh, Australia picking up the first the first try, the first points of the game, Thurston converts, so it's uh, it's already more competitive than the, the first time we played Australia. As we tried another 40-20, we just don't get the angle right. This goes dead again, unfortunately. It was quite frustrating, honestly. Because uh, playing against the wind is definitely a, a big neg... Oh, not negative, but um, it's definitely a struggle, I would say. As uh, Isaac Luke off, off a couple of offloads. We started it almost straight through, but Inglis just rounds him up there. As we're looking to to uh, to fight back just before halftime. It'd be nice to to uh, level up before halftime. It would be, would be nice. Don't want to go down too far. It was a beautiful play there. Gets it to Isaac Luke, but Inglis comes up with a huge try saver. It was such a nice play. We we feigned to go to the open side, but swung it back to the blind there. And unfortunately here, it's going to come off the chest of the Australian play there. And on last tackle, it's a handover. Not play that. Probably probably the right call. Um, we did throw it into him. So yeah, we uh, had a great opportunity, but couldn't make it happen. I can't believe Luke didn't score. He sort of cut back on the inside. I was pretty mad. <laughs> that he did that, but it is what it is. As we go into halftime, six 0 So a pretty, pretty uh, not a lackluster first half, but not um, not too much excitement. But coming up from the halftime break, Australia throwing it around a bit, comes up with the early mistake. So we have a good opportunity to to attack early in the second half. As Kenny Dow straight through off the scrum, a long ball out to him. Not uh, not great defence by Australia there. I guess they were they're anticipating. Just rucking the ball up for the first set in there. Already on the back foot looking to defend. So good uh, good chance to to post back here. As Luke had dummy half. Breaks through of a couple. But the defense comes across and throws him into touch. Just uh, just his game. Nothing was really going our way. I wasn't overly concerned at this moment. As <laughs> who was that? Was that Cameron Smith puts in. That was even worse than two of our shake. He kicked it like five meters. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe how bad that kick was. But we are going to get a chance here. Last tackle. I think it's Lewis Brown. Puts up the bomb. And Jason Nightingale is going to get up above the pack here. Um, we just passed it off. We didn't mean to. It was just one of the times where the game just decides to pass the ball. But it was actually a nice place kick from Lewis Brown. And Jason Nightingale, uh, he's actually pretty overpowered for like catching high balls in this game, I've noticed. like Not only in these like Four Nations games, but just playing uh, the Dragons and whatever team Nightingale's been playing for in the career modes. He seems to, like, catch the ball off the bombs every time. I don't know. He's just... He's very good under the high balls in the game. So, a bit of a, bit of a struggle. Unfortunately, here, they were going for an early kick, and it came off us. It's going to be called six to go, which I was pretty frustrated with. But we do... We have got the... Well, not the lead back, but the level back. So, good stuff. It uh, takes a bit of pressure off, off, uh, off us, if I can speak. But it's still a tight game, honestly. Uh, these conditions definitely don't play to our favor, I would say. You know, it's it's raining, it's wet. We can't really throw it around like we would want. And it's, uh, you know, the the first three games of this tournament, they're actually really entertaining. 
Uh, this game, I'll be honest, this game was pretty pretty bad, honestly. <laughs> it was a pretty lackluster game. Not uh, too much excitement, but great ball here. I think it was Kieran Four, and we uh, swooped around from the back there. Sort of, of the, on the blind side, the defense couldn't quite see us. And it was just a great pass from Four, and he, he held it up enough. And then Inglis was on the back foot. He wasn't anticipating the break. And if you, you know, Johnson into the backfield like that, Nine times out of ten, he'll score the try, and that's exactly what we did to finally get the lead in this game. 72 minutes gone, and we finally hit the lead. That's uh, a bit of a rarity. We've gone through this tournament just unscathed. Uh, the Scotland game was definitely a struggle, but these, uh, these other few were just dominant, really. But Australia, they've turned up this game. The wet conditions definitely helped their, their game out, I would say. But uh, last tackle, we decided to go for a, for a uh, field goal. But against the wind, you know, we're only like 40, I think we we're like less than 40 meters out, but we nowhere near made the distance, so it's a pretty strong breeze, so we have to be pretty close to nail those, nail those field goals, so not, uh, not probably, probably not the play to employ, but this is wounding up here. As long as we don't do anything uh, too silly, then we should uh, have this game wrapped up. As we're throwing it around a bit, <laughs> they're just... Uh, you know, the boys, they're looking for another bit of a try. Playing a bit of razzle-dazzle at the end of the game here. <laughs> playing, playing a bit risky. Going for the offload, gets it to Tamalolo, but he is going to take the tackle. And that is going to be the game. That is going to be the final. So, you know, Johnson couldn't quite get the Premiership trophy, but the Four Nations is uh, going to New Zealand this year. So, good stuff. A uh, good tournament all round for New Zealand. Undefeated. That's, uh, that's pretty rare. Pretty rare. Australia usually... Not uh, not have the wood over the New Zealanders lately, but uh, that was a good, good tournament. We pick up man the match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sean Johnson career mode. It is coming to an end. Um, it's been a lot of fun, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the next series, which will be controlling a whole team through the 2016 updated rosters. And I'll be making a video on that shortly. And it's going to be just a quick video and I'll do like a poll for you guys to vote what team you want me to play as. So I'll do it in that video. You guys don't need to like write comments in this video. But yeah, hopefully you guys look forward to that. And I'll see you next time.